Hi guys, Twitch here from Crepe Designs and today I'm going to try to make this chair not ugly. Let's go. Alright, so I picked this chair up for free off the side of the road ages ago and it's just been kind of sitting there with crap on it. Um, but yeah, brought it home off the side of the road, gave it a feed, showed it some love. The back kind of comes off a bit. It won't come off now that I'm saying that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and stick with that retro vibe and see how it comes out. Alright, I have disassembled the chair. Um, this part literally just pulled straight off. It might not be the same on all chairs, but it just pulled right off. Um, and this part just had some had three screws underneath. It's not in the best condition, but I'm only doing this as a decorative piece. Um, I've cleaned it all with a scouring pad and a little bit of sugar soap in hot water. And then I went over it again with clean hot water and a clean rag and then dried it all with a heat gun or you could just put it out in the sun um, and I'm going to start with the frame and the handle uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is give all of that a uh, scuff sand with either 240 or 120 grit sandpaper and then I'll be back right, so I'm going to be painting the metal parts of this in Carts and Millie Black Bear. I've thrown the bottle out already because I've just emptied it. Um, so with the handle I've taped off around it. It's only a rough tape job and you'll see why later. Um, I'm not too concerned about getting the black on the vinyl but I just don't want it everywhere. Um, so I've scuff sanded this and I'm just using a small Unipro brush. Alright, so I've taped off the handle. I've already painted, started painting the other side. Um, and I'm painting the vinyl sections of this in Carts and Millie Anuka Pool. Um, it's got a bit more of a teal colour to it than what the camera is showing um, and I'm just using a sleek 25mm brush
<laughs> um, all right, so the seat and the back. Really wish this color would show up properly. Um, the seat and the back have, I think, three coats, maybe two coats and a spot coat. Um, I didn't film it because my phone was going flat, but um, after the first coat, when applying the coats on top of that, I would mist, mist over the entire thing and then brush it on because um, the first coat of paint, once you get that first coat of paint on it, creates a bit more friction. So it'll go on smoother with some misting, but this is, this is great. You wouldn't even think this was painted, I don't think. Um, the back of the seat has a bit of damage to it, but I'm not trying to make it perfect. It's not a new chair. It looks super blue but it's more of a teal colour and it looks amazing. Uh, I was going to do the metal parts like the leg, the frame and the handle silver but I think I might leave it black. I like black. Right, so I'm going to be doing some GT stripes on the back and the seat. Um, but I'm just using cheap blue tape from Audi. And I am eyeballing this. And I'm just So for this one, to do the seat, what I'm doing is attaching the end of the tape to that and then I'll push it down like without taking it off and pushing it down like this. And going like that. I just made that up. off there, push it down into that little groove, run it down the back and I'll just let it hang down the back until I can turn it around. So this is the back of it all taped up. 
and I've also taped all of this because I don't want this part painted and I've just pushed it down as much as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's only a decorative thing and I'm not going to be pedantic about it. That's the back taped up and that's the front. And I'm kind of hoping with the blue tape on there you might be able to make out the colour of the paint a bit better. With any luck, I don't know. Anyway, I'll get on with it. Alright, so before I go in with the colour of my stripes, I'm first going over these parts with the Anuka pool. So if there is any bleed through under the tape, it'll be the Anuka pool and you won't be able to see it. I forgot to mention it before because I was distracted by my partner but uh, doing the stripes in black bear the same as the frame of the chairs and voila it's not dry yet it's still shiny let's see how this goes oh, there's a little bit of bleed there Look at that! Alright, I'm going to put the camera down now so I don't get black paint on everything. Alright, so there's a bit of bleeding, but I can fix that up easily. It's pretty much where the trim is, so that's a bit of a bitch. Um, well, I'm going to peel the rest of this off, and then we'll come back. Alright, so I have lightly sanded the edges of the stripes with 240 grit sandpaper you could also use finer grit sandpaper than that um, and then I've gone through with small brushes and just touched up any spots that needed it um, and now I am going in with Cuts and Millie hemp salve and I'm just using my big wax brush you could also use a cloth or your hands. So now I'm going to go in with Katsumili Boutique Soft Wax in black. Look at the mess. So I've just got a little bit on my on my brush, and this is going over the clear wax that I've already put on. Just go on with it like that. If you feel like you've got too much on there, 
you can take your clear wax again sorry I'm not very good at multitasking so put a little bit of clear wax on a cloth or another brush and then just go over it again so I really just want the black wax in the crevices to try and enhance the details and make it look a bit more aged I'll see if I can get you in closer like that so I'll keep getting the rest of this done and then that'll be it and I'll take some photos and we'll be done. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if for any of the products that I used in this video, you can find the link in the description. Thanks guys.